special treatment. Water tanks for a change of water and oxygen bottles for the transport of the fish are on hand as a customer service. Many of the fish bought here can later be found in the numerous aquarium and pet shops. There, you can choose between a wide range of fish species and equipment. For the caring of and breeding of the more sensitive species, the water in Bangkok is generally quite rich in minerals and also very alkaline. But it is different outside of the bend of the Menam River on the westerly side of the city in the Tomburi district. There, a soft and slightly acidic water comes out of the water taps. And because of this, the corresponding fish, among them the discus, can be taken care of. Mr. Somsak is one of the many breeders of these fish that have made a name for themselves in Bangkok because of the high quality of their breeds. His main breeding facility is placed in a house, whereby the breeding aquariums are kept on the first floor. Compared with Hong Kong, Bangkok is a tropical region. But nevertheless, the night temperatures in the cooler seasons of the year can sometimes sink to 15 degrees Celsius. Therefore, heating, or at least warming the breeding rooms is absolutely necessary, and that requires a more or less enclosed building. The best time for breeding is between the months of August and March. The rest of the year, it is usually too warm and does not allow productive breeding. Mr. Somsak's entire facility is spread over three locations and has a total of approximately 500 aquariums. 200 of them are used as breeding tanks. According to the season, they hold 50 to 100 breeding pairs. The parent animals should be at least 14 months old for breeding. To increase the harmony of the pairs, five males and five females are placed together and the pairs that find each other stay together. Here again, tap water is used for general care and for breeding. The water is relatively soft and has a conductivity of approximately 300 microsiemens. The pH value lies around 7.0. It is not exactly the ideal water for breeding, but a water that, despite a slight cloudiness, can still be used without processing. Although a large part of the clutch becomes infected with fungus, it frequently comes to larger swarms of young fish, depending on the color variety. A protective wire over the spawn is also used here until the embryos successfully hatch, or rather the larvae start swimming. Conical clay vases, over which a likewise conically formed wire is placed, are used as a spawning substratum. With a distance of one to two centimeters from the clutch, it allows the parents to care for, but not eat the eggs or the larvae. Aside from the royal and the turquoise discus, other color varieties are also bred, and experiments are made to develop new color variations. All of the discus at this farm make the impression of being very well developed and healthy. A question for Mr. Somsak about the feeding of his discus. What are your breeding fish fed? We feed them shrimp eggs, live black mosquito larvae, and tubifex. But most of the other discus also receive this varied diet. The fish grow well with this food. The breeding animals occasionally receive cocoons from the larva of black mosquitoes for a better condition. From the fourth day on, fry receive several times a day small live moina, a type of tropical water flea in addition, but they do not receive nauplia from Artemius. With this frequent and intensive feeding, 
the question of water quality has to be raised. Filters are not in use. It remains to be asked, how often is the water in each aquarium changed each day? We change the half of the water twice a day. The water in the tanks has a temperature of 30 to 32 degrees Celsius. Large blowers provide a sufficient supply of air or oxygen for the aquarium water. The air is distributed through thick plastic pipes and then passed through thin tubes into the water of the aquariums. The rearing tanks are placed on the lower floors. This is where the young fish are reared. All in all, it is a well cared for facility that produces around 15,000 fish each year. Because of their form and their colour, one can say that these are discus fish of very high quality. Also in the future, the quality of the discus fish is the highest priority for Mr. Somsak. When it comes to the colour of the fish, he also gladly takes the wishes of the customer into consideration. The most spectacular colour variation of recent years was introduced in 1991. It came onto the market with the name Pigeon Blood, named after a special gem, a beautiful red ruby. In Malaysia, it is often called red ruby discus as well. On the other hand, in the United States, it is called red dragon. The colour of this discus fish is so unusual that considering the previously known breeding colours, one can speak of a revolution in colour breeding. Aside from that, they seem to be far more robust than other animals, and because of their unusual appearance, they have already made their way into aquariums around the world. Mr. Kitty Panaiti is thought to be the first to breed this unusual fish. For more than 18 years, he and his wife have been breeding discus fish. According to them, the pigeon blood is a product of crossing the Thai royal and the turquoise discus. Contrary to all of the pessimistic talk and the contentions of malicious tongues, the pigeon blood is not a dyed fish. The characteristics of pigeon blood have already proven themselves to be hereditary. Nevertheless, new colour nuances are constantly appearing. Mr. Kitty also has his discus farm on the west side of Bangkok, outside of the Menam Bend. In cooperation with many small breeders, he operates the main facility with around 300 aquariums. They breed approximately 10,000 discus fish each year. One asks himself what sort of water is used for the breeding of pigeon blood. Special water or normal tap water? Mrs. Panetti gives the answer. We use normal tap water. This tap water is comparatively soft and has a neutral pH level of 7. To guarantee a good development of the discus and a high quality of water is important for just that, almost all of the water in the aquariums is changed twice daily. In the summer months at least, the water is warmed by the air temperature, or rather controlled with fans or with air conditioning when available in the hot summer months. As the main source of nutrition, live black mosquito larva and tube effects are on the menu, and for smaller fish, shrimp eggs as well. Care is always taken that the animals used for breeding are beautiful and healthy discus fish, and are at least 12 months old. Generally, a hundred young fish per pair and active spawning is considered a good result. They are allowed to reproduce for nearly three years. According to hitherto existing observations, they have the same life expectancy as other colour varieties or fish from the wild. Pigeon blood is not only because of its colour and form the ideal fish for the budding discus lover, but also because of its previously observed resistance to various diseases. 
pigeon blood has already made its way into the aquariums of the world, and as can be heard everywhere, with a great success. Bangkok, the center for discus fish. Many well-established and new color varieties are breeded here and are exported from this city into the rest of the world. The sales are taken care for by exporters, such as the Siam Pet Fish Trading in the Sukhumvit Road in Soy 62. Here, the breeders deliver the ordered discus fish and then they are packed separately in small special transport bags. The size of the bags and the amount of water within depends on the time needed for transport and delivery. At the same time, the used water in the big plastic bags is exchanged with the clean water that the breeding farms also deliver. The small transport bags that are halfway filled with water are then filled with oxygen and closed. The fish are packed singly in a plastic bag corresponding to their size. With movement, the oxygen that has been added is whipped into the water, which ensures that the water is constantly enriched with oxygen. It is a mode of transportation that is acceptable for several hours. Nearly 200,000 discus fish leave Bangkok each year. Approximately 40% are exported to Taiwan and 30% to Japan. 20% are sold to the USA and only 10% to Europe. The number of exports from the other discus centers are unknown, but are probably comparable to those of Bangkok. Hong Kong, Penang and Bangkok. There are very many different kinds of discus fish from breeding facilities that clearly vary from one to another, raised under various conditions of care and fed under varying feeding practices. But they all have one thing in common. They are all of a remarkably high quality and beauty. Discus farms in Asia, more and more a guarantee for beautiful and healthy discus fish.